to go to her. Pride, give her time. She needs a rest. She's even in a worse state than you are. I'm not gonna let this thing beat me. I'll get it under control. Of course you will. Mouse, what are you up to? Me? Nothing. Why do you look so guilty then? I, I'm not. Have you seen Saber anywhere? Why? Uh, n no reason, just wondering if she was going to cook our breakfast this morning. Get out of here. Good. Come in, come in. Sleep well, did you? Like a baby. Good, very good. Yourself? Me? Oh, I've got nothing to worry about. No? No, not a thing. Then why did you want to see me? I sent for you, Ved, because I thought you might have seen sense. About what? Our little disagreement yesterday. And I thought I'd give you a final chance to back down. Why should I? <laughs> Do you know where she is? If I knew where she was, I'd tell you. I know you have feelings for Chloe. What's the matter? Are you getting scared? Look, Ben, don't make me do this to you. I wouldn't want the Verts to see me take advantage of a disabled sickle like you. Ved, you take that back. It's OK, Java. So, this is how you want it, huh? OK. I'll see you in reality space at noon with all the safeties off. And if I win, you hand over Chloe. I don't write the rules, Ved. And like I said, all the safeties are off. Where'd you get this? I, I... I found it. It's okay. Are you hurt? What happened? What'd I do? Nothing. You didn't do anything. Stop right there. 
Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Where'd you get this? Told you, I found it. Hey, don't wave that thing about like that. It could be dangerous. Well, it's yours? Yes, I left it in my room. So you stole it? <laughs> You're a thief as well. No, you don't understand. I only borrowed it. I don't believe you. You're a thief and a liar, and if Siva hadn't come along, you could have really hurt Sammy. No! Why would you want to zap Sammy? What's he done to you? Sammy? It's to do with the game, isn't it? Tell me! Hey, Pride, steady on. You're a danger to yourself and everyone else. No! Hey, you come back here! Hey! You leave her alone! She's just a kid! Leave them be, Pride. Running around with Ved and the Technos? Sammy's setting a bad example, getting her involved in the game when you know what it can do to people. Well done, Pride. What? We nearly had a major casualty. But we didn't, did we? I think we all owe Seaver a big vote of thanks. Why? What do you mean, why? She saved Sammy's life. Yeah, at the risk of her own. Well, she didn't bring that thing into the mall and leave it lying around. You saying it's Seaver's fault? Yeah, I guess I am. Let's don't. He's right. I shouldn't have left it where the kid could find it. Shouldn't have brought it here at all. Hey, don't blame yourself. She shouldn't have been near your things anyway. She's right. Can we just cool it, please? I'm trying, Celine. Look, I know you're worried about May. I need to talk to her. Pride! Come on, babe. You want to sit down? I'll get you some food. Ow! What? Can't sit. That's where I took the hit. All right, and you? Yes. But I'm fine now. Thank you. I'll just stand. So she'll make a full recovery? It's too early to tell. But at least she's not getting any worse. We've been really lucky. We happen to have a few antibiotics, and one of them happens to be the right sort. Pneumonia is a pretty simple lung infection, but it doesn't just go away with a couple of shots. We're going to have to keep giving her more. What if you don't? The infection will come back, only worse. And she'll die. Got to do something, Jay. You think I don't want to? This is what I've been fighting about all this time. Sure, the technos have some of this stuff, but in the end, it all comes down to Ram. <laughs> Can't you talk to him? Make him see how important this is. He won't listen to me. I have no influence with him anymore. So who does? Well, Ebony's flavor of the month. You might want to try her. Can't you talk to her? Persuade her? I'm sorry, guys. That's just not possible at the moment. Why don't you talk to Celine? Hi. Oh, I've got something for you. Look! What is it? You tie it around your arm to show up the team you belong to. All the kids are wearing them. You want to tie me? I've got a better idea. We can make them into headbands. Oh, cool. Wicked. Hey, I'm sorry about trying to zap you. Yeah, I'm sorry about zapping you in the game. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I like this game. Is Amber here? Hey. Please, listen to us. This isn't a game. I love the game. I want the version where we're together, Pride. Where you love me. Are you there, Pride? It is you, isn't it? Yes, yes, I'm right here. Don't talk, you need to get some sleep. Do I need to rest to get to the next level? Yeah. Come on, it's gonna be okay. You'll get to the next level and Pride will be there. <sighs> what have I done? It's not your fault. Look at her. Take a look at yourself, Pride. Don't you see? This has got to stop. We've got to do something about this. There's nothing any of us can do. They've got us. No! We're going to fight back. And I think I know where we can start. Come 
one, just one more game, and let's just get to the blues. Blues are rubbish. Reds, reds, reds. <laughs> Hear this. At noon today, you can watch the greatest contest of all time. Bed has challenged the great Ram himself to combat. Wow! You can watch the fight live here on CineNet at noon today. Ram vs. Bed! <laughs> wow. Ram and Bed? How could you let this happen? You think I didn't try to talk them out of it? If I'd been there, I would have. But you weren't there, were you? Ram doesn't want you. Only because he's paranoid about... <laughs> Quite ironic, isn't it? Last time you were faking it to keep him away. I'll be back. You'll see. You sure about that? Let's face it, Ebony. You don't have much luck when it comes to men. You couldn't keep Jay, could you? Well, look who's talking. Does Ram know you're messing around with Jay? What's that supposed to mean? Don't try to con me. I saw him coming out of your room late last night. Real late. Is that all? Don't mean a thing. No? <laughs> so what had you been doing? Playing Snap or was it pat a cake? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I wouldn't. But I bet Ram would. Yes? City leader wants to see you. Ebony, I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, honey. We've said what we had to say. She's all yours. Yes? What do you want? I want you to talk to Ram. You want me to persuade him to call off his fight? Can't do it. What? No, about the hospital. Ram gave you the go-ahead, didn't he? Yeah. And he gave you equipment and medicines, right? But not enough. We need more. Celine, you may not have noticed, but nobody's making that stuff any longer. Stocks are running out, and most of what's left is past its use by date and useless. Well, Ram's got some. I know he does. He needs them for himself. Ebony, there are dozens, maybe hundreds of kids out there getting hurt. We're doing what we can for them, but without medication, well, some of them are going to die. And so will Ram. So forget it, Celine. I should have known you wouldn't want to help. Now hold on. You have sold out. You're nothing but Ram's puppet. When I married you two, I should have included a bag in the service. If you think Ram will listen, you go talk to him. You're the city boss now, and when you took on the job, you took on the responsibilities. I know that. Good. So don't come running to me every time you've got a problem. I've got problems of my own. The door's right behind you. Ved, what do you think you're doing? Preparing myself. Trying to concentrate. I don't mean that. I mean fighting Ram. You can't. Just watch me. You don't think I can take Ram? Call it off. Please. Forget it. I have to do this. <sighs> Thank you, Java. Just take care. Me. Take care. Ved's the one who you should be saying that to. Ved, please. It's not too late. You worried about Ram? Better say your goodbyes now. Okay. Goodbye, Ved. Wish I could say it's been nice knowing you. But I can't. Look, look, it's starting! And it's gonna finish once I deal with them. Who are you gonna shout for, Siva? What's the matter? Well, maybe they do us all a favor and wipe each other out. And now, <gasps> the moment you've all been waiting for, a no-holds-barred, winner-takes-all contest between the mighty Ram and his challenger, the techno-wizard, Ved. All set? Let's get this over with. Safeties are off. Really? Shove him out! <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, Ram. Is that the best you can do? No, kid. The best yet to come. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Reality space is a lot harder than it looks. That was awesome. I guess Ved had it coming. Uh uh. Ram needs Ved. The big question is what's Ram gonna do next? Is he okay? He'll live. Fought real well. I'm um, proud of you. About Chloe? You know where she is? No, you mean you don't. Ben? <laughs> well, it's done. You won't try that again in a. Ugh. Hurry? You need painkillers. Mm, I'm fine. I thought you were gonna destroy him. No. I couldn't delete Ved. I, I just needed to teach him a lesson, you know? Show him who's boss around here. Well, you sure did that. Yeah. I, I never thought he'd go through with it. That kid, he's got guts. Here, he should help with the pain. Would you stop acting like a nursemaid? Take them, please. Where's Ebony? I want her here to share the glory. You can't. What do you mean, I can't? She still has a cold. Don't tell me what I can do. Go and find Ebony and bring her to me. Now! What does it do? Oh. 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 Bed, it's okay. We're here. Uh, where am I? In the hospital I brought you. What? Don't try to move. Get off me. Take it easy. We don't know how badly hurt you are yet. 
What are you doing? Trying to help you. I don't need any help from no stinking birds. <sighs> right now, you need all the help you can get from anybody. Let me out of here. Fred, please. Uh, give, me, give me a hand. Uh, see, you're not going anywhere. If it was up to me, I'd chuck you out on the street. <coughs> but we set up this hospital to treat anyone. Even low life like you. So lie down and shut up. My lovely Ebony, so glad you could come. Well, you know how it is, Reb. Your wish is my command. Ah, oh, you say the sweetest things. Reb. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be getting too close. Oh, no, 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 stay. And never mind. What harm can it do? You're my wife. I'd be missing you. Have you? Oh, have you really? You know, it wasn't my choice to stay away. I know, it couldn't be helped. No. You know, I don't know what I'd do if anything should happen to you. <laughs> don't you? I do. Javer, that's enough. Leave. But, Ram. I said enough. Just leave us. <sighs> My lovely Ebony. Tell me, what have you been doing? Worrying about you. Really? There's no need. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I mean, there's a few aches and pains, but nothing serious. Did you watch the fight? How was I? Okay, you were fantastic. Yeah. I suppose I was. <laughs> you know, it looked like you were having a real good time. Oh, no, no. I... I wasn't enjoying myself. It's just sometimes I need to bring a little discipline to those nearest and dearest to me. It's not something that I enjoy, but it's just what has to be done when someone steps out of line. Come on now, keep on going. <laughs> Are you awake? Come on, 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 come